Hello there, welcome to Siagnova 2016. My name is Nino Zama and you are watching my ANC TV. Joined in the studio by our political analyst, Bongani Bindrane, to just uh, give us an idea of the hard work uh, that's been put in uh, building up to this campaign. Bongani, welcome to the show. I'm good, I'm good. Exciting, outside. The festivities are going to start. Yep. In, essentially, this day is about celebration, mm. our victory, mm. then we know it's going to happen. Yeah. And uh, we, we are here to just uh, uh, commit to the people some more. But, but, I mean, I just, the excitement is mind-blowing. People started arriving here at 6 in the morning. It was cold. They braved it. You can just mm. see the love that the people have yeah. for the ANC. I mean, it takes a serious commitment to arrive at 6 a.m. on a stadium in an event that is going to start around 11 a.m. Yep. It's serious. It means you woke up around 4 a.m. or so uh, because our people don't have cars. You know, they use public transport. And it was five degrees when we arrived this morning. It was morning. cold. You That's, could see the yeah. beach had little uh, cold yeah. and frosty uh, uh, dew. Let's talk about the work that's been put in. I mean, since the beginning of the year, we've seen ANC leaders on huge campaign trails going door to door, the rallies. What do you think we should expect today, looking at all the hard work that's been put in? Uh, today, essentially, is going to be a day that uh, involves our fraternal organizations uh, from across the continent. Um, they'll come and celebrate with us and wish us well, as they say. Um, on top of that, you're going to have uh, our alliance partners coming to make inputs. And important uh, note uh, today is that of uh, the president, President Jacob Zuma, who's going to just summarize everything that uh, has occurred. Uh, you'll capture uh, the moment from the time we launched our manifesto uh, to today and then project forward uh, what, is it, what it is that the ANC uh, has led from the consultations with the people. Uh, and in so saying, uh, re emphasize uh, the point that he's making that this is a contract this time around. Uh, it's commitments, these are not promises. Uh, and indeed, galvanize people, encourage them to go and vote. And one central pillar of this is also to emphasize that we you know, a traditional democracy. We need to vote, uh, vote peacefully and not. the issues that have been raised by our communities in these door-to-door -door campaigns are finding an expression in the ANC manifesto. This particular manifesto mm. was not just drafted by ANC members alone. Mm. In fact, uh, the larger uh, parts of this manifesto mm. came from the general public. The ANC opened up uh, its doors and said, you don't have to be a, a member of the ANC. You don't have to be a supporter of the ANC. Uh, come in, tell us what it is that uh, bothers you about uh, governance. Uh, what are your aspirations? Uh, may inform us, make us better. So this is a, a, an ANC that is uh, stronger, that is better from these engagements uh, with the communities. And communities have been very, very clear. Uh, they were very clear about their dissatisfactions, the shortcomings, and indeed uh, appreciative of the great, great effort uh, that the ANC has put on uh, since the uh, Let's talk about now the style of campaigning. Um, we've seen social media being used to the fullest, mm. uh, the modernization really of yes. the communication itself. I think ANC has come a long way from the days of Radio Freedom, wouldn't you say? Radio Mike, we Radio Freedom. This is it, actually. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it's, it's just now we've, uh, we're doing it without hiding. Uh, you know, we're not at the bush somewhere, yeah. and we are not uh, being uh, asked by our parents, mm -hmm. come, 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 listen yeah. uh, to this, we found the station, uh, but don't tell the neighbors. Yeah. Uh, this time around, our people are free to actually listen and hear from the ANC directly. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they want that, they've been asking for that, uh, because uh, uh, generally, uh, ANC members have been saying, um, there is a huge problem uh, in the media space in South Africa. Uh, the, the, the media space is such that it's very hostile to ANC messaging. The 
communications aspect of the ANC. Yeah. Now, what are you doing about it, our people said? Yeah. You can't, as you know, the SABC is independent, so the ANC had to then come up with a platform and really give birth again to Radio Mike, we Radio Freedom, and so forth. So this is this is it, and uh, this is what we, we, we are going to get used to. As you know, now and again, we'll be touching your screen as you speak to, to mm -hmm. check and then follow through and make sure that we capture the mood mm -hmm. on time of the community. People who are abroad, uh, who are, you know, voters who are not around, people who love the ANC, are now able to catch us live uh, on Facebook, uh, via Facebook, and we're very excited. What are some of the pertinent issues that you think the president will touch on today? Uh, the president will certainly, as I want to emphasize this because he is very serious about it, that let us not go back to communities where to report back only when we are ready for canvassing for the elections. Uh, it's very clear now, a clear instruction to all uh, uh, candidates and councillors who are going to be elected, that they ought to hold feedback meetings with communities. They are mandatory and obligatory and encourage communities to take part. Uh, because uh, we see that um, most of the issues that the communities raise are issues at times that are already in the pipeline in planning uh, to be resolved, but the community was not aware. Um, and, and as such, uh, you know, the president will really emphasize the point that let us not be locked in our towers as uh, councillors. Uh, councillors must live within the communities. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, the ANC must go back uh, to its uh, efforts of removing uh, poverty, inequality, and great employment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and we'll be talking again. Yes, yes, we will be. With us throughout the day, that was our political analyst, Romani Bindana, telling us about what we can expect today. And uh, remember, we will be here the whole day. We'll be live on social media, Facebook, Periscope, you name it. We'll be here the whole day. So let's uh, take a break for now, and we'll come back to you later.